invite to talk about unlocking growth through conversation media marketing, Mr. Satyajit Dev Roy, Revenue Head India, Bobol AI, in conversation with Sahil Deswal, Chief Growth Marketing Officer, Bobol AI. Please welcome both of you. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Uh, I hope uh, I'm audible to all of you. Very good afternoon and uh, thank you uh, Indian Television for giving us this opportunity to talk about uh, conversation media marketing. Uh, so Sahil, I just wanted to you know, uh, bring it to the table. How was uh, your travel today morning? It was great. So I flew from Vistara. The weather was great at the Bombay in the morning. So yeah, it was raining. I was very happy. Great. And uh, you got your Uber on time? I, I definitely got my Uber on time. Great. It was between Uber and Ola, but I chose Uber. Awesome. So you know, uh, it, is, it is given a, a fact that you know, mobile screens have become very important now. And you know, we open our mobile screens almost 400 to 500 times in a day. And that's, that's what we, all of you do, all of us out here, right? And, uh, you know, we keep on expressing intent. We keep on, you know, uh, doing conversations across social media, across uh, different platforms, usually searching about something. Uh, and every time we are doing conversations, we are also expressing intents, right? That's the power of uh, conversation media. So, uh, you know, Sahil, uh, I will, I have jotted down a few uh, questions for you. I would definitely want to, you know, uh, ask you those questions. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Yeah? Look so, forward to it. Yeah. So the first question is, uh, now Sahil, uh, since you have been leading marketing at various uh, organizations, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, you have, your you have been experiencing a lot of new age companies, uh, may I request you to remove your bobble head today and, uh, you know, uh, think about uh, yourself as a marketer for a large FMCG or an OTT platform and say you're launching a new product or a show or a movie. How do you plan your marketing strategy and the thought process of your team? Great. Thanks for the question, Satya. I mean, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I hope everybody's awake after the lunch session. <laughs> um, the reason why I guess Satya was asking me so many questions around whether I took an Uber or an Ola, I came from Vistara, I guess those are the number of brand recalls that we have in a very small window of chat. And I believe that is the power of yes. conversations that we wanted to leverage. So great. So the bobble hat is off. Assume that I have an FMCG or an OTT hat on. See, if I'm an FMCG or OTT CMO and I'm looking to launch a new product or launch a new show or a movie, then definitely the impact metric for me would be, let's say, the campaign reach, uh, the top of the mind awareness. At the same time, am I, use, am I reaching the right set of users for that show or that movie? And ultimately, am I able to generate engagement on the platform? So eventually, those are the key metrics that I want to impact. Now, for, for me to do that, I would ask my marketing team to go out and do some influencer marketing, perhaps television ads, you know, out of home, uh, social media, and even some digital channels which are targeted to the right set of audiences. But the fact of the matter is that today, customers are quite aware about sponsored and promoted content. They understand that brands will be paying something to the influencer to talk about a specific product or offering. And in which case, there is probably a large amount of trust deficit in what we do as brands. So I will most probably ask my team to top up this initiative with a conversation media campaign. And why I say a CMM campaign, because it is directly going to get into the user's chat, a platform that allows my brand to be a part of daily conversations. Because nothing is more authentic or persuasive than one friend talking to another, a family member recommending in a close group about a product or service. And that to me is, is how I would probably look as a marketer. How can I create this awareness? How can I create this engagement and top it up with a complementary channel such as conversation media? Because eventually all marketeers are going to choose the same bread and butter channels. Customers are quite aware they're going to be targeted across the gamut of apps that they're going to use or, or you know, platforms they're going to visit. But eventually, you want that trust to be created. And that is where I feel the power of CMM really comes when you use it as a complementary channel. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
So, you know, uh, one more interesting fact that we came across is we all keep on expressing intents, you know. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be surprised to know that uh, in, in a day, uh, you know, we as users uh, almost give out 12 billion intents. And, you know, that's a whooping number. I mean, uh, it only shows, you know, uh, the, the marketing, uh, the marketeers needs to look at this in a very, very serious way. The conversations that the, the users are having on a regular basis and to use the power of conversation media, uh, you know, in their marketing mix. It, it, is, it is absolutely necessary for marketeers to understand the power of conversation media marketing. Uh, you know, one more thing that I also wanted to, uh, you know, just to answer what, what you said. Uh, recently, we did a campaign for Motorola. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a fantastic campaign. I'll just read out some uh, figures for you. Uh, the Motorola uh, campaign was to build awareness and recall, and they wanted to launch a new product targeted at uh, you know 18 to 20, 80 to 44 years, uh, male, female. Uh, we strategically placed the catchphrase "Hello Moto." I, I'm sure everybody is uh, familiar with "Hello Moto." Whenever users greeted each other by way of stickers and gifs within, uh, with, with each other by way of stickers and gifs within the keyboard experience across the relevant keywords, uh, and then drove uh, around 6.3 million plus brand, uh, you know, imprints in, in chat conversations. And that's, that's a whooping number, right? I mean, it's huge numbers. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think I agree with you, Satyab. Uh, if you really think about it, these branded stickers or GIFs are basically intents. And these intents is what is being packaged in a certain form and shape for the user to express. And when users do that, they are very consciously and voluntarily choosing your brand in a part of their conversation. So just to give you a perspective, uh, if, if I see an OTT ad or if I'm able to see some sort of advertising during watching a movie or or a show on the phone, it's very intrusive. And Insta, Insta Reel, for example, while I'm browsing Instagram, it's, it's very intrusive because it sort of breaks the flow, but at the same time has very poor recall, has very poor attention span from me. But an intent on the other side is what the customer is choosing from their, from their own side. So to give you an example, I can always share a coffee sticker or I can share a Starbucks coffee sticker. If I'm choosing a Starbucks coffee sticker, in a way, that's not a vanity engagement. I'm actually giving my preference. I'm saying you want to go out for a Starbucks coffee. And that is, I believe, the power of the platform. You know, and I'm happy to give away the secret sauce of my own marketing if I just for a minute take up my Bobble hat again. The biggest growth driver for us at Bobble is actually CMM, which means that a lot of our content is currently going with a Bobble watermark. So it makes people curious. Hey, where do you get this content from? They're able to see the source. And that drives a lot of organic engagement. So the entire idea of CMM really stems from that thought. Can we leverage CMM to grow brands? Is it possible that brands now have a direct entry into the daily conversations of these users? And in a way, if you think about it, Bobble AI is democratizing that process, opening up a platform where you can enter those daily conversations, which is far more powerful. And I believe that is what will also drive a lot of long-term awareness, but at the same time, uh, I would say consideration. Because if you think about it, the first time a sticker is shared, it's creating some awareness. But when it's shared subsequently, it's also leading to uh, you know, consideration. And that, I feel, is the power. So to my fellow marketers out there, I think my recommendation is do not just necessarily rely on the bread and butter channels. Please do complement it with some form of CMM. Because eventually, the world is moving to a stage where brands have to be a part of daily conversations if they want to come across as authentic and persuasive. I think the best part is all these intents are being expressed on real time. Yes. And that's what, uh, you know, makes it a very powerful, uh, you know, medium or a channel. Uh, absolutely right. Uh, I, I could, not, could not agree more with you on, on this perspective. Uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, so uh, let's say now that you have, uh, you know, secured the reach, uh, build the awareness and the trauma, in fact, uh, with some consumer receiving branded content from multiple people has also impacted the consideration set, right? And part of uh, the funnel is significantly grown up now, right? Uh, still, I'm wondering uh, what else could you do uh, to drive this engagement? 
uh, engaged users towards further consideration in the fund? Okay, yeah, that's a good question. So, so let's assume that now I have this pool of extremely engaged users who are aware about my brand. Uh, the hypothesis here is that uh, I have entered very organically into those conversations. Uh, it's not coming across as intrusive, rather empowering and enabling for the, for the customer. In that case, now, now is the time when as a CMO of, let's say, a OTT, I would now want to move it into the consideration or a sustenance phase. Right. Right. So one example that comes to mind is uh, if I'm launching a new show or a new, uh, I want to share a recommendation with my existing users on, say, WhatsApp, my fan base on WhatsApp, uh, can I leverage a very innovative way, a creative solution of, um, you know, letting them engage with my brand, be able to create some user-generated content, perhaps. So, uh, you know, one of our offerings is the bobble, selfie to bobble head, uh, you know, technology. And uh, that really allows people to personalize those content pieces. So the moment that happens, suddenly now everybody's sharing that within network and it's happening in a repeated motion, it starts generating that kind of uh, consideration for that campaign. So if I know that I'm currently binge watching on Guns and Gulab on Netflix, when I was coming, that was another brand I wanted to talk about. Uh, but I was doing that and, uh, you know, ultimately if I have a sticker where my, my face is there on my favorite character and I'm able to share that within my network, suddenly the other person who's my friend is also going to be curious. And that is the feeling that you really want to invoke with, with this consideration, right? So yeah, I think uh, what I'm trying to say is that you can generate high level of intent, high level of, let's say, consideration in a very short span of time provided you have creative solutioning that you think of. So don't take, let's say, a WhatsApp as a vanilla channel where you're going to be texting your users because ultimately that's what I get a lot from brands. A lot of texts which feel very advertising, advertorial, not conversational. So ultimately think about the superpower of WhatsApp. You're able to reach everyone, everybody is able to give you their attention, but only to a time where you're able to engage them. So I think that's what I would probably think of. And the fact that it's one too many yes. uh, makes it much more powerful, right? Yes. I think, you know, one more case study that I just want to briefly touch upon. Uh, Domino's, in fact, did a Friendship Day campaign recently. Uh, you know, Friendship Day campaign was basically to kind of engage with their WhatsApp uh, bot users. Uh, it was a very impactful event, uh, uh, sorry, uh, campaign. And, uh, you know, the personalization movement marketing campaign reached 200K uh, users in a single day. Uh, and users uh, where uh, the open rate stood at 51 percent. That's wow, these are amazing numbers. That's a lot. With three out of four users uh, engaged and 2.2 percent of users placing an order, and that happened in all 12 hours. I mean, you know, conversation is becoming very powerful. Uh, you know, as as we speak. I think going back to that point where I said in a very short span of time something is able to be seen and heard and enter the consideration for the user. So it's, it's really that the, you know, the sea doesn't have the problem, the ship on top of that sea really yeah. needs to be sorted. Absolutely. So I guess that's the point. I think, you know, we always think about, as a sales guy, I'm just bringing this up. We always, uh, uh, you know, hear about what's next, what's different, what's innovative. I think beyond banners, beyond the, the CPVs, you know, here is something for the marketers out there to, you know, uh, put that in their media mix. And, uh, and believe me, we, we can really bring out some fantastic results for you. In fact, award-winning results for you, right? I mean, yeah. that, that, that's what we do. Uh, moving on to the next question, uh, Sahil. Uh, okay, just a sec. Yeah, uh, so basically, now that uh, you have uh, successfully executed the brand awareness uh, and the consideration, how do you leverage conversational media marketing or CMM in short, uh, to move this user down the funnel towards the intent of purchase. And I think this is going to be a very important part for all marketers wherein they kind of look at the intent of purchase as, as one of the very important uh, you know, uh, journey in, in the media uh, campaign. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I think this is by far the most important step in the funnel. So if I am running this campaign, I am definitely looking at the intent purchase. Uh, as you go down the funnel and uh, assuming that you've created the right kind of engagement and awareness and consideration, 
now it's all about going deeper into the conversations with these consumers. And the way you go deeper is not to say that I'm going to keep bombarding you. Yeah. It is to really say that I'm going to empower and enable an experience which is unforgettable. So this is the time when I would say the right intent at the right moment and the right kind of nudge is required to put the user into that mindset. So uh, off the top of my head, uh, of my mind, uh, you know, the contextual nudges that we do comes to mind on, on our platform. So I want to explain this in a very simple way. Let's say as a, as a consumer, you're looking to go from Andheri to Wordly. And at that point in time, I'm able to serve an intent which says, are you looking to book a cab? Now, it's the right moment, it's the right time, you're looking to travel. The moment you click on that prompt, looking to book a cab, I open up the Uber chatbot experience. It's a very simple, trustworthy platform. You already know Uber. You're able to quickly book your cab very seamlessly. So you're not looking to reactively, you know, go from here to there and have another app. In a very frictionless, personalized way, you're able to book this. Take, for example, a group of friends chatting on WhatsApp talking about going to Goa. Now, obviously, they're going to want to book flight tickets. So the moment the AI detects that intent, that I'm looking to travel and you're able to serve real-time search results, that particular friend in that group who's looking to book can immediately make it happen. Absolutely. And that's, if that's not purchase intent, then what is purchase intent? So the goal is very simple, you know, right from creating awareness to getting into a consideration stage to moving a user to purchase intent, the way you deploy the conversation media platform and the solution will give you all three returns. So uh, just something to think about how real time it is becoming now. Absolutely, Absolutely. great. Uh, I think time's up. Uh, <laughs> any questions that anybody wants to ask? I hope I didn't overshoot the 10 <laughs> minutes. I'm happy to take questions. Yeah. Uh, my bobble hat is back on. <laughs> yeah. You know, I guess there are none. So great. OK, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much, both of you gentlemen. We would request you to please uh, be on stage uh, because we have to felicitate you. And can we have a huge round of applause for the wonderful discussion that we have just heard? It was so quick, so engaging. And I'll take the honor to uh, felicitate you with the gift hamper that we have from Happy Love.